God instructs that by seeking Him first, one will be the foremost to receive blessings, attain liberation, and discover independence from captivity. The Father declares that you are destined to be first. Am I not the firstborn of heaven? Everything that the Father bestows upon me, I bestow upon you. The privilege of the firstborn. This is your right. Your entitlement resides inside me, you shall not be excluded or disregarded in any manner. Embrace this day the manageable yoke and the little burden. Perceive yourself today not merely as the steward's son, but embrace the Isaac attitude characterized by anticipation, joy, and faith. I proclaim that you are the leader and not the follower, from this day onward, you shall be elevated and not subordinate. Nothing from the beneath realm possesses any promise or purpose from my hand. The Father asserts that pain holds no value, therefore, rise and adopt a mindset of blessing to fully experience my goodness today and in the days ahead. Angels advise specificity in your prayers today. Precision in prayer will yield accuracy in responses to requests. The Father expresses His willingness to respond to the yearning of your heart. Allow your mouth to engage in prayer. The Father affirms that your petitions are acknowledged. They are the embers presented by angels upon the celestial altar. The fragrant essence of a prayer imbued with faith will elicit a response from above. The Father declares that there will be no more vague thoughts in prayer, for I shall respond to you. I will respond to you promptly and with intensity during times of distress. I shall annihilate the annihilator. I shall eradicate doubt, fear, and disbelief. As I enter your day, I seek faith in your world and your heart. I seek hope amidst the desolate and arid conditions of your situation, even when all appears to be futile. The result is determined by me, states the Father, therefore, do not base your expectations on the apparent direction of events. Have faith in my assurance. Merely believe, and you will witness the manifestations of faith in your life and circumstances. Today, as a born-again individual, you will navigate through renewed situations. You have been reborn, you have transitioned from the realm of darkness into the kingdom of the sun. The authority of heaven encompasses your being. You are an agent of my intentions, empowered to invoke the divine to manifest on earth. This is your share and your right, declares the Father. Ascend to the mink and ermine of the mantle I have crafted for you from the inception of the world. The delay has ceased. This is your moment to awaken and be affirmed for I have bestowed upon you the authority to become, to become a son of my right hand. Indeed, one is reborn yet grapples with the persistent ramifications of existence in a flawed world. Perceive with the spiritual sight. I have placed a scepter of dominion in your hand and a bracelet of power on your wrist. My agreement is with you to align your existence with the heavenly paradigm manifested on earth. Did I not instruct you to pray, Thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven? Will you pray in this manner, and will I not transform your existence into a semblance of heaven to facilitate your passage to the afterlife? Indeed, I shall accomplish this and further tasks, declares the Father. Embrace, accept, and savor this present moment of joining into my covenant. God proclaims that the separation of light and darkness shall begin in your life now. The Father declares, I am distinguishing light from darkness among you. You are not a progeny of obscurity. The darkness is irrelevant to you and elicits no intrigue whatsoever. You are the offspring of the light that I embody. 
You embody illumination in the Lord. You are the city positioned on a hill. Indeed, you are akin to the sentinel upon the wall. Watchman of the night, yes, the day approaches. The Father proclaims, I am the day star that emerges in your life. You are entering the sphere of my benevolence. The Father declares that your eyes will witness what they have long yearned to behold. You will observe the illumination activating and the obscurity diminishing. My hand will sever connections with darkness and terror. An end to loss is imminent, as I have proclaimed the cessation of the detrimental influences that have impaired your happiness. Do not restrain yourself. Provide me with your complete cooperation. Embrace the conclusion of grief so that I may deliver the resolution of peace and the liberation of pleasure permanently in your life, declares the Father. Today, God asserts that your being is not rooted in your physical being, but rather in Christ. Embrace the Zoe irreducible vitality within your being today. The Father asserts that eternal life is not a linear computation. Eternal life constitutes my vigor, strength, and power within your corporeal form. I am your source of strength. I am your existence. I own the duration of your life in my grasp, and you shall not conclude until I decree your conclusion. I possess intentions and objectives from which I am unwilling to exclude you. Heed my words, I am not a practicing physician, but rather the great physician and I possess the final authority. Your bones contain biological life that is finite and susceptible to decline. Within me resides an inexhaustible and perpetually augmenting eternal vitality that sustains and upholds you, even in the absence of natural resources. The Father proclaims, I am your life. Every bone and tissue in your body is abundant with the nutrients of children's bread, including the healing of nations. I am the air you inhale. Your existence is derived and extracted as a manifestation of my uncreated essence. You shall not be constrained by human judgment, for I am manifesting my intentions through you. You will not be deprived of your days or years. Can you accept a life expectancy predicated on my assurance? Embrace it as yours and find joy in my presence within you, fortifying you for the challenges to come. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and write Amen in comment. God instructs us to continue sowing today. Continue disseminating your seed. Continue to cast your bread upon the seas. Harvests from the past are approaching you. There have been plantings you presume to be unsuccessful harvests, yet they were not failures, albeit the rewards were delayed. Do not neglect the planting of previous seasons, for I am not oblivious. The Father asserts that he maintains accurate documents. I maintain meticulous records and manage concise accounting. Maintain your faith and recognize that a blessing is forthcoming. The blessing is advancing to surpass you and affirm my promise and your assured anticipation. You will receive complete provisions and a successful crop. Are you able to perceive in the spirit with the spiritual sight and recognize that this is a time of harvest for you? The Father proclaims, I am with you in the harvest. I will never abandon you or neglect you. Maintain anticipation. Exude confidence. Operate with conviction. Align your actions with my word. I shall never forsake your crops. I shall never abandon you or your yield. The angelic harvesters are currently assembling to bestow upon you the divine sustenance and earthly treasures that will surpass any limitations you have established, resulting in an unforeseen and boundless blessing. God proclaims today that He is transforming your imprisonment in this season. 
My spirit is inside you, and where my spirit dwells, there exists freedom. Liberty is the sole enduring condition that can prevail in the presence of my spirit. You are now being liberated. Illegitimate authority is being dismantled in your life. The spurious statements uttered against you by people who claim to represent me are rendered inconsequential. My words shape your reality. Your limits are expanding, and your boundaries are being delineated by my hand, free from any external influence. You had departed in sorrow with your seed, questioning whether it would ever provide results. From this day onward, seed, fruit, and harvest shall abundantly manifest in your life. Articulate these terms, seed, fruit, harvest. From this day forth, you will observe the blade, the year, and indeed the complete corn in the year of all that you have entrusted, cultivated and relinquished into my care. Soothe your emotions and steady your spirit before me, for today the sources of joy are being unveiled to you and within you. Are you prepared? inquires the Father. I have observed your steadfastness even during arid periods. I declare to you now that the time has come for sustenance, resources for construction, and fortitude to advance and seize the rewards I have designated for you in the territory of your adversaries. Jesus Christ proclaims that today is a day of rejoicing, for your recompense is descending upon you like the spring rain. You are a tree of my cultivation, and the essence of your blessing is flowing through your branches. I assert that you are a tree of righteousness, and your taproots shall remain firmly anchored in the fertile soil of my entitlement in your life. Wait, says the Father. Await the valuable outcome I am producing in your realm. You will receive the outpouring of my spirit, both the former and the latter rain onto the world. Gaze upon me today and perceive yourself through the prism of my affection for you. I have accepted you, and you are now entering the realm of my approval. The Father grants permission, now endeavor to manifest and uphold that endorsement. Indeed, some have labeled you as a symbol of corruption, nevertheless, where are they now? Are you able to perceive them? Are you able to perceive their sound? Observe, I have eradicated them in the floodplains of my intentions. I shall engage the detractors elsewhere, for I have resolved that my benevolence is your share at this moment. God says today I am not creating a path, I have already established one for you. I embody the path, the veracity, and existence, specifically for you. I have created a path for you through the forest. I have devised a method for you to transcend the difficulty and fully realize your potential. Your opportunity to embrace my promise is now. The desert is not your residence, so I assert that you have encamped sufficiently around the mountain of despair and frustration. Emergence from the gravestones of history is imperative. Forgive, liberate, and bestow blessings. Grant yourself forgiveness for not being superior, more intelligent, or more influential. I am your answer. The Father commands, heed my voice. Enter the monuments I have established to guide you toward the triumphs of today, tomorrow, next week, next month, year, and decade, for your sovereignty mirrors my own, perpetual, sustainable, and enduring. You will not be disappointed, asserts the Father, for I am with you and I never fail or waver. Exult. Angels proclaim today, my peace I bestow upon you. I bestow upon you my peace, a tranquility unknown to the world. My tranquility is that of one whose conflict has concluded. Your conflict is concluded as there are no credible adversaries capable of opposing the essence of who I am within you. I am safeguarding your life and protecting you from all enemy invasions. You are secure, dear one. You may rest your head in tranquility, assured that you will not be disturbed or infringed upon in any manner. 
you will be informed of the enemy's strategies. I will reveal through my truth, and you will be expelled by my strength. You will vanquish and prevail against all hostile strategies. The circumstances and tactics that previously led to your defeat will no longer be effective. You are no longer the same individual you once were. You have occupied my thoughts, and you are contemplating my ideas amidst the turmoil that induces terror in others. My authority is your motivation, and my grace is your audacity. The Father proclaims, you shall feel no shame, for the prize is yours, you are victorious. The Father declares, I have positioned you in this life you are navigating. I have positioned you in your existence just as I positioned Adam in the garden. Adam's responsibility was to manage and maintain the area I had assigned to him. You must cultivate and maintain that for which I have entrusted you with responsibility. Today, I urge you to assume complete control over the forces that permeate your borders daily. I am a deity who comprehends dominion, and I urge you to assert control over the land that symbolizes the resources, time, and individuals I have linked you to inside my realm. No further capitulation to the adversary. Arise, proclaims the Father. The celestial beings designated to you are striking their swords on their shields in readiness and enthusiasm for battle. Seize your domain. Engage the adversary directly. This day proclaims the Father. On this day, you will celebrate with your adversary subdued, recognizing that the triumph I secured on the cross is allocated to you in your circumstances. God asserts that you are currently residing in the interstitial space between two realms. You serve as the celestial border guard, defending against the incursion of adversaries who threaten those you cherish. I have enabled you to encounter the exceptional, superior, and profound aspects of my kingdom. Proceed fully equipped in my armor, missing nothing. The crisis you confront is not yours, but that of the adversary. Permit your experiences to elevate you to a higher level of intimacy with me. During times of adversity, I will provide you with unwavering access to a concealed refuge that the adversary cannot locate, while you launch your prayers like grenades against all of his schemes. Do you observe, beloved, that spiritual warriors possess the tenacity and boldness of their convictions because they are assured of their victory? My inherent stance towards you is one of dominion. I am Lord and I am King. You are sovereigns over whom I reign as King. You are a warrior King, and you do not have to fight, you have the privilege of fighting. You are endowed with my unwavering and unyielding resolve to elevate you in every situation. Maintain steadfastness in your conviction. Exhibit unyielding determination in your struggle against the adversary of your spirit. Eliminate any inclination to surrender. Resolve today to persevere till the conclusion. You will be saved. You will achieve victory. The manifestation of my power in your life will exceed all expectations. Before the video continues, please like the video, share it with your family and write Amen in comment. God declares that the era of vociferously confronting the adversary is nearing its conclusion. Your authority and spiritual potency do not necessitate vociferous or boisterous denunciations to capture the enemy's attention. Assert your authority. Upon your utterance, the adversary quakes, aware that I shall not permit your words to go unheeded. This is your share, as declared by the Father, for I have instilled within you the spirit of a champion. The Father asserts that you are walking with him today, therefore, do not be swayed by the distractions created by the enemy's threats. He was defeated 2,000 years ago and continues to experience defeat today. In times of adversity, understand that the extent of your difficulties delineates the limits of the blessings I will bestow upon you in return. 
When you comprehend my truth amongst adversity, you then perceive that even the purportedly malevolent report warrants amusement. The negative report merely serves as an introduction to the miraculous breakthrough I will deliver to counter the malevolent attacks of the adversary. The Father proclaims that you are destined for triumph. You are destined for blessings, as your life is currently enveloped in my favor, which will grant you tranquility while those around you are in turmoil. Venture forth with the assurance of your confidence in me, for I have consistently demonstrated my faithfulness and shall continue to do so until every adversary is subdued and my complete promise is realized in your life. God encourages you today. The Father encourages you to be courageous. Do not permit your emotions or the aspects of your psyche to determine your degree of happiness. Your delight originates from a source deeper than the soul and purer than any human disposition or character. One who governs his emotions surpasses one who conquers a city. You have requested the city and sought the expansion of your bounds, I assert that by overcoming your internal struggles, I will grant you dominion over your borders and establish you in authority and power exceeding your dreams. I refuse to allow you to live without experiencing the entirety of my joy in your life. Partake abundantly from the reservoirs of salvation I have instilled within you. Do not let superficial emotions or base desires govern you. Instruct your emotions on how to perceive. Instruct your mind on what to contemplate. Instruct your body on how to experience sensations. Proclaim. Announce. Enacted in the celestial realm, your mandates shall be instituted on the terrestrial plane. Accept no excuses, for I shall not permit your statements to be disregarded. Do not yield to the adversary's attacks on your well-being, rise and embody your true self, for I am with you and will never abandon or forsake you. God instructs me to embody my goodness today. As your generosity emanates towards others, it will cascade back into your life, nourishing the parched terrain of your heart. The Father commands to press in. Delve further into me until you relinquish all understanding but for my mercy. Experience renewal in my mercy declares the Father. Reinvigorate my compassion towards those in your vicinity. Healing emanates within you as you behold my visage. The Father urges a deeper exploration. Have the courage to gaze into my eyes, for you embody all that I have desired. Your pursuit of my transformative grace intensifies as you delve deeper into me. Immerse yourself in me today, declares the Father, so that you may discover your true nature as I designed and formed you before the world's inception. The person you aspire to become awaits you in my room. Upon entering me, you will embody the individual you have always recognized as your inner and irrefutable reality. Receive acceptance and attain approval when you choose to draw closer to me. Abandon everything and immerse yourself in the enigmas of my love and my presence, which envelopes, heals and transforms you via my benevolent mercy. Today, God is instructing you to shatter your alabaster box and anoint the feet of the Savior. Your actions towards the least among you reflect your actions towards me. Your sacrifice is acknowledged by me when you extend love to those marginalized and rejected by society. What one individual discards may be valuable to another. Venture forth today and extend affection to the unlovable. Permit me to inscribe upon your heart, no individual is expendable. The Father asserts that love is infallible. Why would one ever disengage from love when such disengagement constitutes a descent into failure? No accomplishment, endeavor, or objective holds any significance apart from love. Love defines my identity. My presence will be felt in the room upon your entrance. They approached you but were unable to communicate their feelings. Tears will fill their eyes, remove them. 
Embrace them and alleviate their humiliation, for I am channeling the river of my presence through you in a tangible flow that will seek, redeem, and transform the lost. Before the video continues, I request you to comment Amen and if are able to help financially so you can do super thanks.